I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing with me, church. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it again. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. Sing it again. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose to be free. I choose to be free this morning. I choose the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I choose the Word of God. I choose His will for my life. I choose Your will. I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose. I choose to be free. I choose to be free. I choose to be free. I choose to be free, Jesus. Father, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, minister to your people on this morning. Break every chain. Minister to your people on this morning. Power in the name of Jesus. I just gotta go. And there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army, cause there's an army rising up. Sing it with me, church, cause there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up To break, to break every chain Break every chain, break every chain To break, to break every chain Break every chain, break every chain There's an army, cause there's an army rising up Cause there's an army Rising up. Father, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, minister to your people. Help your people to see the power of your Word at work in their lives. Let them see the Word, that it works, that it never fails, that it accomplishes exactly what it set out to accomplish. Bring wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to your people, we pray. Lift their burdens, I pray. Give them the victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen. So on this morning, we're talking about God's word at work in you. God's word at work in you. You know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, so then faith 
comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now you know if the word of God is powerful enough to create the whole universe. The word of God is powerful. Are you hearing me? That tells me that no matter what we are facing, all we need is a word from God in our situation and things are about to take a turn for the better. Now watch this as we go into the book of Matthew chapter 8, beginning at verse 5 through verse 10 and then we'd read verse 13. The Bible says, and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum. I tell you, he made a lot of trips to Capernaum, and that's where some of his greatest miracles took place. I don't blame him. <laughs> Who, I mean, you want to be where people have faith, right? Listen, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. This man was a man in authority in his government. He had many soldiers under him, saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy, and he's grievously tormented. I need you to come and do something about this, Lord. This man was willing to humble himself. He is a man in great authority, but yet he recognized that there are some things he had no power over. So he had to go to someone greater than he. And he went to Jesus. In verse 7, the Bible says, Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. I just love this right here because we see Jesus is showing you and I healing is God's will. He just want us to come to him in childlike faith, believe in him for a miracle. So he came and he asked Jesus and Jesus is saying to him, I will come. Now remember, Jesus is the word of God made flesh, but you're about to see something here. Listen to what the centurion answered when, when Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Man, that's a good thing. Out of park right there. You coming? Please come. Let me show you where my servant is. So the Bible says the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should even come under my roof, that you should even enter into my house. I don't feel like I'm worthy. But speak the word only. All you got to do is open your mouth and say it. You don't even have to, you don't have to be there physically. All you got to do is open your mouth. And see, this shows you that there are different degrees of faith. There are some people it doesn't matter just as long as you have faith. Some people say, come and lay your hands. Jesus went and laid his hands. But for this man, he said, you don't even have to come. Just open your mouth and then a revelation comes from this man. Listen to what he said in verse 9. He said, for I am a man under authority having soldiers under me and I say to this man go and he goes because I'm his superior I have authority over him and to another come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does it listen to what this man this man really listen to what Jesus said in verse 10 when Jesus heard it he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. What's going on here? This man believed in Christ. He, he realized Christ was a man of authority. But it tells us this man himself understood authority. He understood the authority of the Lord Jesus. Because he is saying to Jesus, When I, a regular man like me, can tell this man go and he has to go because I have authority over him and when I say to another one come he has to come to me because I have authority over him I recognize that there is no greater authority than you Jesus if you speak and command the sickness to leave out of my servant that sickness will have to get up and run from off of my servant because I recognize I feel the Holy Ghost because I recognize 
You are a man of great authority. You are the son of the living God. You are the Messiah of the world. Glory to God. All you got to do is open your mouth and speak a word from God. And I say to you this morning, you can see the power of God's word at work in this man's situation. All you need under the sound of my voice is a word from God. How many times have you been watching this broadcast and the Holy Spirit begins to reveal to me, there's someone being healed from this, there's someone being healed from that, and we rebuke it and people testify right there on the live broadcast, or we get their testimonies days or weeks or even months later. They say, Pastor Sean, when the Holy Spirit spoke to you and talked about someone with the twisted tailbone, that was me. I was like this for five to ten years and now I'm healed by the power of God. I was the one with the shoulder problems. When you call it out, I was instantly healed by the power of God. That's the power of the word of God. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 107 verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Jesus Christ is the word of God made flesh. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And without him was not anything made that was made. And the word in John 1 14, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. But this centurion said, I don't need the physical word to come. All I need you to do is open your mouth and release the word. There is no distance with the power of God. There is no distance with your authority. Just speak the word only. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word, speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. And Jesus marveled and said, Man, I've, I ain't seen anyone in Israel that have the faith of this centurion. And then listen to Jesus in verse 13. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go your way. <laughs> Pay attention to this next one. And as you have believed, so be it done unto you. And his servant was healed in the same hour the same hour the word of god is released in your life in your situation something begins to happen something begins to shift something begins to turn but you got to believe you must believe i'm not talking about trying to conjure faith up you can't work faith up you can't conjure faith up the Holy Ghost have to create faith in you to believe God for a miracle. And when the Holy Ghost creates that faith on the inside of you, from hearing the word of God, miracles are released. God's word is at work in your life. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It will not return unto me void but it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the very thing I sent it to prosper in. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, for the word of God is powerful and alive and sharper than any two-edged sword. There is power in the word of God. Jesus said in John chapter six, verse 63, the words I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. In the book of Proverbs, the Bible says, His words are health to our flesh. The word of God at work. The word of God. He'll open the door for you. The word of God will get you the job you believe in God for. The word of God will cause your body to be healed. The word of God will turn your marriage around, your ministry, your business. It will turn your whole life around. God's Word is at work in you right now. I read many of your letters, your emails. You said, Pastor Sean, ever since I've been tuning into the broadcast, the Word of God is changing my life. My prayer life is taking off. There's new life in me. I'm loving the Word of God again. I'm reading my Bible and understanding it. I'm praying. My relationship with God is much stronger. Many of you are saying you got financial breakthroughs. You got healings in your body. Your marriage is being turned around. Your children being turned around. God's opening doors for you. The 
Catch the power of the word of God at work in you. Don't allow the enemy to come and try to deceive you because God is at work in your life. His word is at work in you. You got to stay plugged in. Keep listening to these broadcasts. The more you listen, the more God is going to do in your life. The more you get the word of God in you, the more you grow. The apostle Peter said, desire the sincere milk of the word of God that you may grow by it. There is life in the word. There's power in the word. There's healing in the word. There's wisdom in the word. There's miracles in the word. There's breakthrough in the word. There's supernatural provision in the word. There's deliverance for your marriage in the word. My God, we serve a good God. We serve a good God. There is power in the name of Jesus. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the ministry, into the work of God. You can visit us online right now. No gift is too big or too small. We mean that when we say it. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas 75070. P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas 75070. Never forget, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We care about you. We appreciate you. And we don't take what you are doing for granted. We don't take what you are doing for granted at all. There is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it with me. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain.